Oh, so, why did you give it there? Satnam, and welcome to another show of Ik Conscious Living on Seat Channel. It's the show where every week we bring inspirational people. And Sangaji, I'm really, really pleased to tell you that we, again we have some amazing inspirational people. Now, you know the, the format, and I laugh every week <laughs> because I say the same thing. But, you know, I think it's always nice if we get a wonderful guest to introduce themselves. And this week's no exception. So, Vaiguji uh, Khalsa. Vaiguji Khalsa, Vaiguji Khalsa. If you tell us who you are, Ji. I'm Jod Beer Singh from Switzerland. Welcome, Jod Beer Singh. Thank you for coming Welcome. to the Conscious Show. And this is Ji. Yeah, my name is Sat Bender Singh Ji. Vaiguji Khalsa. Vaiguji Ji. I'm in, uh, living in North Holt. Uh, basically, uh, I've lived my life, most life, most of my life in Southall, um, and uh, yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ngaji, just to tell you, me and Satpinder Singh, we go back a long way. We are we've been very good friends, and I, I think it's been a few years, hasn't it, since yes. we sort of met each other. So it's really, really nice. And I, yeah. I said, we had a really, like, uh, really nice conversation the other week in the Gurdwara. He was doing some amazing seva. I, I, I'm saying that he doesn't know I'm, you know, I was going to say <laughs> this, and uh, we just got talking. I said, you know, it'd be so nice to have you. On yeah, the show it's because you, been a pleasure you, to be here. you know there, there's so much we have to catch up, and I thought we're better to catch up than over here, you know, on the show. Sure, no, it's you good know? to be here. But mm. you know, outside, Sungji, I mean, if you look outside, I mean, assuming you're in London or even within England as well, it's snowing out there, and you know, it's so nice, you know, to have guests to come through, all, you know. All the sorts of weather. You've just come from Oxford, haven't you? You know, yeah, yeah, just now. Yeah. Just a quick uh, came in. Yeah, but it's so nice, you know. Um, you know, uh, it's broadcasting. It's nice to bring you down, and you know, and you, fr from Switzerland, yes. Yeah, I'm from Switzerland, actually. Yeah. We do know each other, Sangaji. Yeah, I'm yeah, actually yeah. though. We met each other in France. We had such a good time together. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, because the weather is so cold at the moment and everything, it's always nice to have somebody who has. So a knowledge within, you know, medicine, but Ayurvedic type medicine. It's, you know, it's the traditional type medicine, and it's so nice, George Beer Singh, because when we were in France, you were giving some amazing sort of simple but really effective sort of remedies of what people can do, you know, to help themselves, and that's what the show is all about, really. You know, yeah. you know, w could you expand on that at all? Yeah, if we, we can speak about the the weather right now which is cold and very dry as well. Yes. So it is very important like to keep you healthy in this weather, to keep fine and chardikala happy. Yes. And how to achieve that? That's the main question like. Yeah. So how we can do that if we if we are healthy, we are happy as well. That and makes sense. Yeah. How to do it? By eating the right food, tying the right clothes, and that's that's the most stuff you can do. You know? When you say eat the right food, yeah, exactly. I mean, so, exactly. you know, so, the thing as you may know, one person's perception of right food yeah. could be right for them, right for thinking, them. yeah, but yeah. it may be the wrong food. I mean, could you give like an example? I know we're always told like eat fresh fruit and yeah, vegetables. Yeah, 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 and, exactly. Yeah. You, know. you know, for example, you shouldn't eat at that time cold food. Simply, it's outside cold why you eat cold food. Okay. It's, it's not good for the body. Okay. Because it's said that there is a fire in the body. Yeah. And this fire, you need to, you know, you need to heat it in this weather. So how to do it? Uh, you shouldn't eat cold, actually. Okay, okay. Cold food. Because it makes the fire low. Simply. So this is to do with di the digestion? Digestion. Yeah. If your digestion is proper... You, you feel healthy as well. If you're healthy, you that can do so seva, sense, simran, and you can help others as well. And another simply thing, like, but just like eat three times a day warm. It is simple. So, some people have real difficulty to do it. So instead of it. having cold cornflakes? <laughs> See? And don't drink cold milk, for example. Yeah. It, it really closes everything. It's bad for the body. And take warm milk every day. With okay. lychees, for example, okay. lychee, you know, cardamom, mm -hmm. or amla fruit from India is a good thing, or pepper even, 
that's that's proper. Okay, so it's just having really that proper combination. I think what you're also saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, is you eat according to the season. It, it makes a difference. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing, just I tell you, yes, is simply take warm water, okay. like half, half. Something we made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> There's no <laughs> propaganda. <in it. laughs> no, drink it like all 30 minutes, warm water. Okay. It's be really good for you. I'll join you on that one. Mm. It's not even in the winter. You should do it all the and time. We, and, we, and what we did do is we just asked for it slightly warm because it's, um, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, I think it's about minus one outside. See, um, we are live, Sangeji. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, don't drink one hour before the food and one hour after food. That, that obviously helps with the digestion. Exactly. I mean, it, it's funny exactly. because for the last, I think, five, six years, I've been doing exactly that. Uh, and now, interestingly, you tend to do it without thinking. It's like, okay, you know, lunch, one o'clock, do you know about 12, I'll just have some water, mm. you know, and uh, I think it really does make a big difference. Yeah, it does. Wow. It really does. That what I tell you is not about, um, I read it somewhere, and it's my own experience as well, otherwise I, I wouldn't tell you, mm. it doesn't make any sense, you know. Yeah. yeah. No, it's good. I mean, wh what's really nice is that it's that PR, it's that love that's coming through of what you do you know this is not something where you can say do you know what for a week i'll study it mm. you know this you know and i know that in regards to when i met george bissing in um france that you know we sat down and we really did go over i mean yeah you had books upon books <laughs> i mean i was like wow this is amazing you know just it, remember yeah. the books <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean, these books were big books, <laughs> okay, you know what I mean? And it's amazing, actually. And, uh, and also, you have a love of martial arts, so I think we have a lot in common on that aspect, and yeah. we'll talk about that in a moment, actually. Yeah, that's but fine. Talking about, about the PR and getting things through, it's... So then the thing, you know, what, what amazing, uh, what's amazing, Sangaji, is that uh, initially, I mean, so this thing myself, we used to play a lot of football. And so yeah. I know you have a lot of PR oh, within football. You know, yeah. every Sunday we used to be out there, there playing sort of thing. And uh, mm. what's, what's, what's nice is that, you know, you, you have a sport and then you get to know someone in terms of where their real passion is, you know. And, uh, you know, as I say, we all do separate things, but that passion, that PR is there. And we got talking last week. We just sit, sit, sitting there talking and... Uh, I said, so what have you been doing with yourself, you know? And uh, Sipin Singh was saying, I've been, you know, I've been doing this amazing book, and if I can just reach through, here I am. It's the purpose of human life. Singji, please tell us more because it just seems amazing, you yeah. know, um, the inspiration behind this. Yeah, um, basically, uh, it's been uh, it's been quite an honour writing this book. And um, and I find it to be very valuable uh, because it's really a representation of what I've been doing for the last, say, 15, 16, 17 years. Okay. And everything that I've learnt um, uh, whilst you know whilst doing this, um, and I've just been compelled to write about it because uh, the knowledge and uh, the experience that I that I gained uh, from from spending um, time uh, with the Sangat, uh, with the saints, and uh, the Gurdwara. Uh, it's just been indescribable. You can't really describe it. I can't really describe it to you in words, you know. Um, but you know, you know, verbally, I can't really, you know. But the only thing, you know, the only so everything that's in this book mm -hmm. is not something that, you know, you can say I've created or or I've written. It's something that just came to me. Wow. Um, and then I had to write everything that came to nice. me, so yeah. so I put it all down, um, and, it, and it turned into a book. Um, but really, um, what have I been doing? It's been um, I, I used to be um, a more nothing before. I never used to have long hair or, or a beard or anything. Um, mm -hmm. Since up to the age of about seventeen, eighteen, and then I had a kind of like a turning point in my life, um, which basically took me towards. Um, you know the path of God. Um, you know I didn't have the best of childhoods, so you know, um, so I had to find answers. And sometimes, um, you know, you go on to the path of life, and you, you know, you know everything's happy, you know, no problems. Then all of a sudden, something happens, and something hits you so hard mm -hmm. that 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 something inside you awakens. 
Okay. And that awakening, this was really an awakening, I'd say. And the awakening was to, it's like an awakening of your spirit. Your spirit awakens and mm -hmm. you start to, you know, you ask yourself questions about life, about what we're here to do, you know, you know what was the purpose of, of human birth, you know, and what, you know, what, how should we be living our lives? You know, all, all of these, these questions all of a sudden started coming to me. Mm -hmm. So, um, so um, I basically was introduced to a, 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 a saint, a Sikh saint, when I was at the age of about 17, 18, mm -hmm. uh, because my family didn't know what was wrong with me. They thought he's gone mad or something. You know? okay. And uh, so they thought, OK, let's take him to like a, a Babaji, you know, maybe he can help him. Is this what, because you got, got into Sikhi? Uh, this is from this point onwards, basically, okay, okay. I got into it. Um, I mean, I, I just went to see Babaji, you know, it was the uh, Jasant Babaji Swan Singh Ji in uh, Clifton or Godwara uh -huh. um, in Southall. Uh, it's quite famous. Um, I love the langar they do there. The langar is almost, oh, okay. is, is it's, incredible. It's amazing, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I don't know, there is for. more, but you know, I'd like you sit down, he keeps you know, coming. Nowadays, probably. that's what I go for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, but back in the day, yeah, no, it was, um, you know, Babaji did really, help us a lot and um, he basically you know you know took us uh, took us under his wing took me under his wing and put me onto a path a spiritual path a very very um, you can say deep you know difficult spiritual path um, which and, and and the beautiful thing about it was that that none of you know, nothing about Sikhism was imposed upon me it was something that I that I, you know, it was put there. Mm -hmm. yes, as if, like, you know, when you have, uh, let's say, if you have children, and you can, if you can put a plate of meat in front of them, or you can put a plate of, uh, say, vegetarian food in front of them, and then it's up to them what they go for, mm. whatever they like, they'll mm -hmm. have it. So, you know, it was put to me in that sense. It's like, here it is. This is what it is. And you know, if you want to find out more about it, you're more than welcome. You know, if you don't, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. But it is such an what Sikhism. I found is it, such an incredible thing. You know that I, I just had to find out more and more and more, yeah. and that just took me deeper and deeper along the path. And uh, you know, and you know, the, the, the basic things Baba just started making us do was to do seva, and wow. uh, yeah. you know, we was you know at the Gurdwara almost every day doing you know langa di seva, jordan di seva, you know chadran di seva, anything that we could, you know, any, anywhere where there was you know uh, you know where somebody needed help with mm -hmm. anything, you know, we were there just to you know do that. And then in the beginning, it was just like. Kind of like um, a little bit like uh, the, the you know how the karate kid, you know where you know you're told to do this, yeah. just do it. You don't know what you're doing it for. You know why are you cleaning shoes? Why are you washing people's dishes for? You yeah, know, why that do, makes what, a lot you know, of sense. Yeah. You know, why, yeah. Why do all this for? You know what's it about? You know people just is go it there, step up, step down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. You know, yeah. you know, take the jacket off, put it yeah. back on again. Well, what's, what's all this about? Yeah. You know. So for me, at that time, it was like that, and but you know. We just I can on. totally relate now. Now you mentioned Karate Kid. No. <laughs> <laughs> no <more. laughs> I just want to read this, Sangha. It's really nice, actually. If that's okay with yeah, you, course, yeah, yeah, course, yeah. I just came upon this page. It says, you've been talking before, and it says, however, this is not an easy path as one is on a mission to be with the eternal light of creation. The source of all that is there is above whom there is nothing else. So undoubtedly there will be many difficult tests and hurdles along the way. But the Sikh is not alone as the Guru guides and protects him right to the end. And I think that's, that's, a, that's a lovely sort of yeah. phrase right there, because I think we can all relate. Yeah. You know, I've just picked this particular part, but, you know, we can all relate to that, you know? Yeah, you know? I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just to say that it is, the path is, is what it is. It's, it's a great path. And you learn a lot of things, great things. You learn about Guruji, you learn about who you are. And you're never alone. It's one of the things where you're never alone. Guruji is always with you. Yeah. And you know, it's just a question of realizing, realizing uh, that he he is there. And and the, and the whole bottom line message of uh, the book he says, "Ikunkar Sadgur Prasad," which means God is one and can be realized by the grace of the true Guru. Yeah. And it's about knowing and realizing God with the grace of the true Guru. And that's what all that book is about. It's an experience. Wow. Now we'll come uh, back onto yeah. this. This is really good because there's so much more. I want to talk to you about this book actually, but it makes so much sense. You'll be saying, you know, it's it's having that PR, you know, inside. Mm -hmm. I mean, what was your inspiration? Because there's so much that you've done within your lifetime so far, actually. And you know, and, and I believe you know one of those was Siki. Mm -hmm. You know, and how, how did you come about Siki? I mean, it, you, you, you sort of think Switzerland. You know. It's not the first place you initially think of, at least I don't, you know. <laughs> it isn't. Yeah. Yeah, there are not many sick in Switzerland. Okay. There are a few thousand, um, not even thousand maybe. We have two Gurdwara over there. Really? Yeah. 
a big one and a shorter one, and um, and one very traditional and very nice one as well. Okay. Nice to travel and see another. Another thing is how I was inspired. Like, yes, was I liked that Marshall thing. Yeah, there we are. There we are. And um, I came through the martial arts and I researched. I did some Chinese stuff. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know from where is it coming from. Oh, okay. So the origin as yeah. such. Okay. And then they say it's coming from India. So I related to India from where in India, you know. Yeah. And then I got, I came to this point of Gatka like, and uh, but more behind as well, like the stories of the gurus and wow. the Shahids and. Yes. And the whole Khalsa thing and uh, Gurmat and Gurbani and all the stuff and it impressed me that much. Really? And the thing was like, my whole life I was searching something like that. And I was like more like a Buddhist, like, you know, I, I've been born as a Christian, like, mm -hmm. as a Protestant Christian. But I personally felt since my childhood, I was never satisfied or happy with it. So I always want, was on searching what else is there, and I enjoyed something because of the Chinese stuff. I came into like like a Buddhist philosophy. Of course, because like, it's amazing, yeah. Yeah, of course. Cool and uh, yeah. because then I went to research from to India and stuff. I came across to the Sikh thing. So Gosh, Sikhi. that's really now. I mean, what's nice is because of I mean, my understanding, Sikhi is have that martial aspect in there as well as the spiritual side it's as well. It's one part of it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because you got because you, you got to have that mixture there, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you can't just be pure martial, but because you got to have the biard as well. Yeah. But um, you were in in the Swiss army, was it? I've been to army, just okay. a low soldier, like you know. Okay. Nothing big, but well, I said, from where I am, it sounds big. You know, it's like gosh. No, no. That, that's 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 a nice thing to do, you know, to to serve the country as well, you know. Yeah. So. It's it's obligatory in Switzerland. Okay. Actually, and I came I came in with this Buddhist mentality, like I want to make peace with everybody, have friends mm. with everybody, but it doesn't work in the army. <laughs> I can tell you straight away. So, in the army, in the army, I had to hard, learn the hard lesson, like uh, you can't be like a peaceful without having the power, and really going on and do something. So. It was a point for me where I was saying, like, I cannot walk this way anymore. Okay. I need to change my mind, my, myself. And then after this, two years later, like, I came across with the Sikhi and all this behind it. Yeah. And I say, this is exactly what I was searching for. Like so, a, so like in deep teaching. inside? Okay. Yeah, deep inside. Because it has that aspect, because mm. it has the martial side, you know, and uh, as I say, I think, you know, we, we've all, so we've all trained, but also behind that, yeah. is the, you have that biard as well, and that that's what balances you, that's isn't right. it? I think I think that's a little bit similar with me because I think we, we, I think you and I were both seekers because, you know, uh, we were both looking for something, yeah. and hey, you can count me in it. on and this as well. Of course, um, yes, <laughs> this has also been, yeah, um, you know, uh, we're all we're all. We're so all, that means uh, that seekers. 25 years ago, you know, we, we all had cut hair and yeah. then we all yeah. grew our hair, yeah, you know, so hair, yeah, so yeah, we all came from the same thing. We all came from the same thing here. You know, and the thing is that I believe that a true seeker, once, you know, if you don't give up the search, you know, you will always find what you're looking for, you know, yeah. um, but like, you know, if you always have that burning desire, you know, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a child is looking for his mother, uh, you know, until he doesn't, he'll run around, you know, from this end of the room to that end of the room and cry around here and there, mm. but until he finds his mother, he's never going to be satisfied. And I think that's how it is with seekers. I think that once they find that thing, because it's so... Uh, it's so important. It's a longing, them. isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's really important to them. Yeah, and you know, it, once it, they find it, it, it. I mean, for me, for me, I find it a longing. Okay, but without, I don't have to go shouting out to everyone. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, it's like, hey, I'm happy with what you do. This is just the path I choose. Yes. You know, you, you'd be happy with with your path. You absolutely. know, and if we can get along, that's even better. That's how, that's you know, how it should be. Absolutely. You know, and yeah. that that that's the philosophy I tend to go yeah, with as well. Yeah. I mean, I think you know, it's important to have that freedom and give people that freedom. You know, if you have, if you're entitled to your freedom to be what you you want to be, then we must give that freedom to others as well, and and let them have that same freedom. You know, and accept and respect that. Yeah. You know, just as you know, and I think to do that, you know, 
you know, removes barriers and, you know, any other way of, you know, like, I'm better than you kind of thing, or you're better than me, you know, where, where you know, none of this is, you know, really relevant to our paths. I, I totally agree, actually. I, I think there's so much more we could do, yeah. you know, moving on and, you know, the aspect sort of thing. Yeah. I, I love the, the way, you know, you, you got the proper shasta, you know, it, it, it's, it's amazing, actually, you know. Yeah. Um, very impressive. No, it, it 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 really is actually. It's a, you know, it, I re really enjoy that that yeah. aspect actually. Mm. You know, um, it was about it was about what was it in August that that, that we met? I think it was. I think so. Yeah. August, yeah, end of August. End so. of August, yeah. se September. Then you went back to Switzerland after that. I went back to Switzerland and um, went back to work as well. And what uh, do you do? I'm actually. I went See, to... See, live on it. Yeah. <laughs> Making propaganda. Yeah. Maybe it's a course somewhere. No. I, I learned... Uh, pro I've been a professional construction painter. Okay, okay, okay. Not arts, like. Yeah. Just like houses and well, walls, like. But I used to make arts when I was younger. All right. Yeah. And... Um, I'm, I like uh, philosophies and I like writing. I'm writing a book as well. Are you? Okay. Uh, oh, gee, you tell me <laughs> now. I right, see. We get a lot of authors on, on here, but that's really nice because I think, like Binder was saying as well, it's sometimes, you know, you can't express in words, no. you know, and you can put that down in a book and it's your inner soul that really talks, isn't it? Yeah, you know? that's how it is. Yeah. And, and I think even though you, you're talking about philosophy, I, I, can, I can see that in a sense because when, when we talked in France, it was, you know, the whole aspect of the digestion and everything, it was, it's an inner search of you know, how we function and, you know. Yeah. You could actually, I mean, you know, suggestions, you could you know, take that forward actually. Yeah, you know, but the book w which I write is, is more about Sikh gurus and... And, uh, it's like the like the sakis of, okay. of, of the ten gurus. Okay. So have you been like doing yeah. research or? Yeah, I've signed four years. I'm on it. Really? Already, yeah, so yeah. Okay, can you give us an illustration of, of what sort of research you've done? I I buy books and I'm reading books over books and uh, searching them in the internet and Is make contacts and go to people, meet them, and ask them questions. Mm -hmm. and get the prefer ref a proper reference of every, everything I write on it. And uh, it's not about just the sake of the story. Mm -hmm. I really want to go deep into it with Gurbani and given a proper katha of every story as well. Can you give an example of a particular story? Yeah. For example, my, the story I li really lo love is when Guru Nanak went to school as a small child and... Uh, he be, the teacher asks him to to learn the alphabet. Okay. And and then he has given like the whole alphabet, but not only the the num the the what do you call, what do you say the the letters. Mm -hmm. uh, he gave the whole meaning of the letters, and in and it's written in the Guru Granth Sahib actually, and he he not gives only the some meanings. He explains all Indian scriptures in as a compendium. In, in a small, in a small. Wow! Do you know this? I, I, no, I, I don't know this one either. So yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it's really amazing. Good. That's amazing. Yeah. First, like last year, I translated just the, from English into German, and another funny story. I didn't know English before. I had to ha learn English to get that. <laughs> really? Really? Because really. your English is amazing. I just took it as granted that you know. No, no, no. I never learned in school actually. Okay. I, I just uh, got it from the people. And from reading, and to uh, to understand the Sikh stuff, <laughs> there is nothing in German. That's why I'm writing the book. As well. oh, wow! No, it's, it's amazing what inspiration we have to learn something. You yeah. know, yeah. Yeah. it's beyond. And then uh, the story I just translated it, mm. and it doesn't. You know, I gave it some somebody to read, and they were like, "Yeah, okay." But now I said, "No, no, I want to have. I want to know what what's really deep inside," and they made the the. I went really deep inside and I saw all these walls, what it means really, and I was so amazed that this small child 
has given so huge, huge meanings. Wow. It's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Amazing. You know what's really nice is uh, something I'm saying as well is that, you know, it's getting that connection, you know, yeah. and that meaning behind it. Yeah. And Sangaji, I know, you know, there are many talents, obviously, to both my wonderful guests, and uh, so Binder Singh is, has kindly bought a guitar as well for the show, and it would be, you know, it would be lovely actually just to, you know, if you could play something, we could just do some Simran, yeah. you know, yeah, you know it would be nice actually, it would make it a nice yeah. thing. Where, where's your guitar? Yeah, yeah it's funny. <laughs> it's, it's, see, we're, we're all prepared on this show, you know. Wahguru Ji ka khalsa, Wahguru Ji ki fateh. Nanik Karke Gole, 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 Nanik Karke Gole,
नानक करके गोले नानक करके गोले नानक करके गोले वाहे गुरु किच नहीं जो किच है सो तेरा तेरा तुझको सौंपते ता क्या लागे मेरा मार से एवरीथिंग दैट आई थिंक इज माइन एवरीथिंग दैट आई रियलाइज एंड नो आई कैन पुट माय हैंड ऑन एंड से दिस इज माइन एनी ऑब्जेक्ट फ्रेंड रिलेटिव एनी मटेरियलिस्टिक ऑब्जेक्ट मार से कैन दिस नॉट योर्स एक्चुअली मेरा मुझ में किच नहीं ही सेज दैट एवरी थिंग दैट यू बीन गिवन इज अ गिफ्ट फ्रॉम गॉड तू दाता तेरा देता खावा जो भी सन मिले है जो भी वाहगुरु जी सन दंदे है वो वाहगुरु दंदे है असी नहीं लंदे वी डोंट हैव ए वी डोंट टेक इट आरसेल्स ऑल्दो वी थिंक वी हैव अ जॉब इट इज विद आवर एफर्ट्स वी गॉट अ जॉब नो दिस इज गिवन टू यू you know i've saved up this much money to buy a car no that that opportunity has been given to you to save that money otherwise you can take everything away so everything that we have is a gift it's his gift including this body this body is not mine he's gave it to me it's a gift so everything therefore associated with the body is also a gift it's not it's not ours मेरा मुझ में किच नहीं है सब किच है सो तेरा एवरी थिंग दैट आई हैव इज योर्स एंड दिस इज एक सच दी गल है दिस इज समथिंग दैट इज ट्रू 
And to realize this, if we can just understand this one thing, that this is how it is, that everything, that, so even if we lose something, it doesn't hurt you because you know it's not yours. It's his, he's taken it back. You was never attached to it in the first place. You know, just by thinking this one thing, Mera mujh mein kich nahi, sab kich hai so tera, tera tujh ko saump te. So Mahal says, what I've done is I've given psychologically, from within my mind, I've given everything to you. So I don't worry about anything. I don't care if somebody comes, comes and steals my car. Not to say that I shouldn't lock it in the night. Of course. But you're always worried, aren't you? You know, someone's going to nick my car. Someone's going to break into my beautiful car. I said, don't attach yourself to it. Just be disconnected from everything. Just be disconnect, just be connected to the one. To the Lord Vaheguru. Through Naam Simran. Through Seva. Through Sangat. Through the society of the saints. Through sitting in Smagams. Through sitting with the humble Gurmukhs. Because it's the humble Gurmukhs that are going to influence us. Because the first step in Sikhi is humility. And if we forget this step, then we haven't learned nothing at all. So, Mira Mujme Kichne Sab Kich Hai So Tera. Tera Tujko Saam Teta Kya Lagi Mera. Once I've given everything to you in my mind, psychologically given everything to you, I don't worry about anything. I only worry am I connected with you. My only concern is am I connected with you. Then I have no worries about anything because I have nothing. So what do I worry about? The Gurmukhs live in this state of mind. And all this can be attained whilst living here. We don't have to go into the jungles. We don't have to roam around anywhere. Maya Vichepaya Mahari says that you can attain God whilst living a normal life whilst going to the office. Difficult to comprehend, difficult to believe, isn't it? How can this be done? But with God's grace, all the experiences, everything that Mahari has blessed me with, I've documented everything in the book. all written it in there and you know I was compelled to write this so with Guruji's grace it's been documented in there So, uh, Wow. You, you know what's really amazing is that you can know somebody for many years, and obviously we used to play football every week. And so, been the saying you never told me you're so talented. <laughs> It's just, uh, I'm not really, I just <laughs> learned it as, as I went along, really, I don't know anything. Well, that is beautiful. I mean, what do you think you'll be singing? That's fine, you know? yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, you know. I, thank you, anyway. Thank, thank you, thank you for, you know, honestly, oh, no, that was, that's, uh, that's, I really think you should, my own you should take that further, you know. It, that's, yeah, that's uh, I really enjoyed it. It, it, it. You know what's really nice was, was that 
you sang it, but you explained it as well. Mm. And I think, you know, that, that's, that's the nice thing, you know? Sure. And it's so true, isn't it? That is that we can lose everything straight away. And I think we tend to forget that sometimes, don't we? You know, it's, we start a life and we think, okay, we're here, we're doing it, and boom, the next day. You know, you must have experiences in, in this area as well. I mean, you know, from the martial art background, in the army, the friends, you know, in, in, in this sort of thing. The, the world looking I have now, it caused me a lot of problems as well. Like, people misunderstand me sometimes for, for Muslims. Like, I don't have anything against Muslims, but it's just Muslims have a very negative in, image in, in Switzerland. I don't know about UK, maybe the same. The, you, you, the way um, I see thing is every religion has positive negative. The, the, the faith matter, itself yeah. in everything is amazing. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. it's, it's the individuals, yeah. certain individuals. You exactly. Know? You know, and that's the thing. It could, you could be anybody. You could be, you know, gosh, you could be. Yeah. So you know, what happened was, like, I've been on the street, like, and people call me, like, bad words. And I say, I'm, I'm a Sikh. Yeah. And I love my faith. Yeah. And they say, oh, we taught you somebody else. And I say, even then, it's not right. Absolutely. I t that's a that's very exactly good, what yeah. you wanted to say, isn't it? Yeah. So it doesn't matter which faith you believe. It's not right to attack somebody because he believes in something. Yeah. yeah. We I, should be happy absolutely. if somebody believes in something. In something, yeah. So, I, I totally you know. agree because you're believing in, you know, yeah. in a higher being, higher power, exactly. you know, within yourself. That's it. You know? And there are like different paths that lead to the same destination. Exactly, that's that same river, that's that same, same river. sea, yeah. yeah. That's it. It's just really a question of understanding that. And when you see that, you know, okay, this is a Muslim guy. I mean, I, I, there have been times where a place where I work, I used to, when I used to see a Muslim uh, guy in front of me, and he'd come out from the, 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 the mosque, and I had to, I had to bow to him because, because his, his, uh, his, you know, his uh, spiritual state, you can say, or his, you know, it's that same thing that I could see almost see my Maharaj inside him. Mm -hmm. You know, because he's done the same kind of similar kind of prayers. He's he's, he's also connected to the one God that we are connecting to. Exactly. So I mean, if we, we say we, we brothers, believe, you know, if we say we believe in one God, yeah, how can be, then how can we you know, <laughs> exactly. No, you know, I, I go. Yeah, we, if we so, say Ik on God, yeah. What what? Sorry, what yes. happened was like I, I okay. was in, invited in a in a in a kind of society club, yeah, and the people, the door man. They didn't want let me in, so they say, "You know, you stay out." Okay. And my friends, we are 15 people. They say, "If you not go in, we all will stay out." Wow. And what happened was, they started to argue with the doorman, and I came up to the doorman and I said, uh, "It's fine. It's your job. I don't want to argue because you get pressure from us. I don't want it. Yeah. So I just gonna leave now." And it's fine. I don't need to go in because anyway, I go, don't go out usually. So he said, no, no, wait, wait, I'm coming back. And he went in and he said to me, let's go in. Wow. And inside, a lot of people came to me and said, you're a hero, man. You're a hero. Like, you know, there were people like Christian, Muslims. They came to me and they said, you know, we, are, we feel shame that we are Muslims or Christians. We, we don't tie anything religious like crosses or, you know, some other stuff. Mm -hmm. But you, man, you just tie it in openly everywhere. <laughs> you, you, you know what was amazing uh, is that... It takes a lot of guts to do that. It, and it, it does sometimes. It, 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 and, and it, the thing is, it is it's the inner journey, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And sometimes if you are in a place, okay, where you feel, hey, I might be the only sardar in, in this area, you know, it's you have to have that inner... Yeah, it's confidence. Like, yeah, I mean that is yeah. part of being a sick, isn't yeah, it? In it. terms of you know, it's like, yeah. hey, I can't hide who I am. Yeah. I don't want to hide it. This is me. Yeah. Hopefully, you'll accept me. But I'm, I am as I am. You know, you know? Buddy, just to, based on what you're saying, you know, it's like, from what I've experienced, you know, the, the way the Maharaj has made the sick, is that you know, um, just by, you know, if if the sick follows the path the right way and becomes the the way Maharaj wants him to be. Mm -hmm. Then that sick is kind of a person that whoever he meets, people will like have a ha like how what happened to Buddy, mm. like you know they will they will come up to him. Yeah. You know they'll be fascinated by him. And he's like, what's this? You know, tell us about this. You know, and you know it's because his faith, you know, and 
our faith has to be so strong within our, ourselves yeah. that whatever we project and however we you know, live our lives, you know, people will just see that you know, when mm. they see you because they'll think, I don't have this, what is this? And they'll be fascinated by it and, you know, mm. and they'll want to sit down and talk. You know, that's how Maharaji did it. You know? Maharaji, when Maharaji's time was that he brought the Hindus and the Muslims together. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, you know that was his 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 job. That's what he came to do was to bring unity amongst different people, amongst humans. Amongst humans, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, it really you know, is people who believe in different faiths, whatever. But he brought them together because they were always clashing. And yeah. then um, in the end, when um, you know when he passed away, when Maharaji passed away, um, even then the, the the Muslims were fighting with the Hindus, saying, you know, uh, he's our peer, we're going to bury him. Yeah. And the Hindus were saying, no, 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 he's our uh, pandit. We're mm. going to cremate him. And uh, when they went to uh, lift the uh, Maharaji's chadar, that was, that was covered his body, they mm. found uh, some flowers there. You know, that was, you know, so the body is gone, the flowers are there. So that was, again, Maharaji's miracle, you know, Maharaji's kind of message again yeah. is one of love. Yeah. You know, and if people can understand that, that this is what the message is, it is thing really is, one of one love. Well, you know, what, what's amazing that we're seeing is that a lot of people, they mistake for someone who's showing PR, for some of being weak and that's yeah. where they get that basic wrong yeah. you know it's like you don't have to be like hey 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 all that whatever no, no. that PR has to come from inside that's what actually makes you physically a lot stronger because you're building up your inner strength that's it you know because yeah. you have to relate to a lot of people sometimes people could be positive sometimes people could be negative but you have to stay on that yeah. thing you know and Absolutely. and by being negative it's not going to help you or anybody but, no. but, but being you say hey okay that's fine mm. carry on yeah you used to keep that equilibrium yeah. isn't it yeah, and that's yeah. harder but it's so much more rewarding you know it is, and uh, it is. it's yeah. you know it's it's like a train like the body like the way you say it's like a train you're on a train and the the train is going through is going through like uh, stormy weathers and it's going through sunny days yeah. You know, you'll see, you'll experience storm. It's like just how life is normally for every. Absolutely, every we all go through ups and downs. We all go through ups and downs. You know, yeah. it's going to be like that. But the train never stops, and it and it, and it never goes off its rail. It just carries on going. And even if, you know, even if you know you did fall off, you know, your Maharaj is always protecting you. He's always there. Yeah. He's always there, and he's always going to put you back on there, and he'll just carry on going. You know, and you'll experience that as you go through the path. You'll experience that he really is always there as a mother and father looking after their child. No, that's, that's, that's a beautiful story. I mean, you know, and that makes so much sense. I mean, um, what's, what's really nice to be seeing is, you know, is that you're going to experience positive and negative, no, of course. you know, aspect. But, you know, you, you keep that inner side of you going. And that's, that's the thing. Hopefully you, you'll experience more positive than negative, you know. Yeah, that's, that's the connection fine. with your guru, basically. Yeah. I'm happy, so anything can come. Of course, of course. Ready. No, yeah, no, but you know, the, but it, 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 it's, it's nice, you know, yeah. Yeah. because the thing is, you you can't run away from life no, no matter what, no, you no. know. It's you like uh, you have to fight and stuff yeah, like. even you know, if you have to sit down and go, oh, do you know what? Okay, um, you know, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be looking like the same as everybody else. Yeah. You're still going to experience yeah. issues, yeah. Yeah. you know. You're still going to have issues, you know, no matter what, you know, yeah. personalities clash, whatever. And, it's, and this last thing I just want to say that, 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 that the most important thing that I found was that the origin of the Sikh is his guru. Mm. So although we're British, you know, some of us are British born and we've taken on the British culture, which is brilliant because we have to live here. But, but our origin is not the British culture. I, I found for myself that is actually the guru. Because at the end of the day, I'm, I feel that I'm a Sikh. I'm a British Sikh. But my origin, my source of happiness, my source of knowledge, my source of guidance will always be my guru, will but the, always be my but guru. That, that could, but that is, is within society as well. Yeah. So that's, that's the message I, that, you know, if people feel that, that's, you know... But I feel they don't clash. That's, yeah. that's, I mean, that's for me personally. Sure. I feel that they go hand in hand. They do, absolutely. You know, it's, you know, it's like somebody could be of Indian origin, Swiss yeah. origin, yeah. British origin, absolutely. okay, or culture born and brought up okay I I, I still, but the, there's, there's no clash there there's that's no the clash. nice thing well, it's you know yeah, it's, no, it's, it's not a clash it's a, sometimes I feel sometimes I've spoken to some people and they feel like lost like they say that we're Asian but we're not really truly Indian because we didn't come from India and we're also but that that's the identity yeah. thing yeah. you understand yeah. and that, that's, that's a different I feel that's different sure. it's different yeah. it is yeah. because you could be no matter what you could, you're always searching yeah. now you could put a label to it Okay, yeah. I don't tend, 
personally put a label, oh, it's because I'm from an Asian background. That, that, mm. but that doesn't mean nothing to me. When I go to India, I love going to India. I love the culture there. Yeah. Yeah. When I'm in England, I love the culture here. Absolutely. Yeah, same here. Absolutely. But, but my inner... Yes, the uh, connection it, is my inner world. guide my, is the guru. That's it. You understand? And that's, and that's, that's, that's it. What I'm trying to say. That, 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 that is my sat nav. That's yeah. it. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. So it's like. And, uh, you know, I mean, I think that, that as a Sikh, that people should find that guide, people within yeah. themselves. Yeah. Because when, when you've got that PR, mm. you don't have that lost thinking of who am I. That's mm. it. That's it's it. like, that's that, it. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm from here, I'm yeah. from there. I, yeah. I, I love, you know, as yeah. you say, you, then you go to different countries, you meet different cultures, and you meet them with a PR and openness and say, wow, yeah. I can connect to that, I can relate to that as well. That's it, that's yeah. it, that's, that's the thing. It's very important to where you live, that you connect with the local people, yeah. well, with the absolutely. nature, with yeah. the people around you. Yeah. and just go to everybody and, and enjoy them. But it's not like I'm a Sikh and I want to put the stamp on it. Exactly. No. That's it. It's exactly. like exactly. you said exactly. it in one. Yeah. I want to see them and I want to ask yeah. them questions and I want to learn from everybody. That's it. Yeah. And I really enjoy it. Yes. And that's probably a very, very nice thing. And that's, that's what I'm ready for, actually. I, yeah. I'm ready for the people to speak with them and go on and... and give the message the gurus gave us to through the scriptures and our 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 whole thing yeah that we can share it with the people and learn from them and we can share with them yeah, as well I, I totally agree because totally agree I, I, I feel that when the guru said hey you don't go become like hermits mm. you have to live a householder's life that's it that's it yeah. householder's life is being in society because actually a householder's life is harder yeah because you have to face day to day to day reality that's it you can't say hey guess what i'm some superhuman person yeah. but you come back to reality hey we're living in reality absolutely, absolutely. but while we're in reality yeah. okay you know we got to have the sat nav of, of the guru this yeah. is my perception yeah, that's it, absolutely you know that's how it is. That's and exactly you know what I'm saying. but not feel lost nah, amongst the people yeah. in fact you say hey guys Yes. I'm happy to be with you. Yes. Okay, let's learn from each other. Let's chill yeah. out yeah. and so forth. That's it. But I still got the satin of the guru. That, that's the way I feel yeah. living, trying to live the householder's life. And I really love that you said you don't judge the people because this is very important. Like, yeah. You, you, you know, you not put these people in this way and put no. these people because they're like this and that. No, that's very important. I, I really see the people as part of one, one yeah. creation. That's it. And yeah. That's where the humility comes yeah, in. And if You're people, so right. If people are doing something... I mean, there's a something very wrong. A line never shall cross there, like against the law or whatever. Yeah. But if people are sometimes having something egoistic or some, you yeah. know, small things, like I, I see really, I don't see a weakness and I don't touch them. I see just like maybe I can support him. Yeah. yeah. Not helping, but supporting him. That's it. Yeah. That he, he, I uplifting him, like that he is like, you know, like a nice guy. Exactly. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, people are there to uplift you, and you're there to uplift people. That's it. You know, That's it. you know, yeah. we're, we're, no one's, in my opinion, no one's better. Yeah. I'm not no. better, and they're not better. We're just all in this path. Yeah. Okay. Like, Each different path, yeah. whatever path we choose. I mean, what a, a friend of mine something said. To, he said something to me a long time ago. He said, uh, "Sick is like water." And I said, "How's that?" He said, "Well, water mixes with everything." And if and if you spill it on the floor, it finds all the lowest places, which means it has the most. The sick has the most humility. Yeah, wow. But it also beautiful. mixes in with everybody, just like Paji was saying. You know that that's the quality of the sick. That's what Maharaj's, you know, created. Yeah. You know, and and not only that, but the, you know, the sick's spiritual state is, is is very high as well. Um, but it's only when you walk the path you realize what's going on, kind of thing, and you have to experience that for yourself in your own yeah. time. That's, no, it's really good actually. It's very, it's very important that if I want to give something, yeah. that I need to earn something first that's yeah. that I can give. That's it. That's yeah. it. I need that. to learn, I need to study, I need yeah. to meet people, that's I need it. to connect with each other yeah. and, and having and, a nice life. And yeah. that, that's the thing. And I think that, that is the bottom line, isn't it? it it's is like it. It you're being yourself, yeah. okay, but you're connecting with everyday society. Exactly. You that's know, it. and yeah. I, I think that that's... Yeah. Basically, you're representing without representing, you know? Yeah. I mean, I don't tell people, hey, I'm a Sikh, blah, blah, blah. What's yeah. the point in that? You know, yeah. who am I to tell people, yeah. who are people to tell me? That's it. I'm and just I, being myself yeah. while following and my... I, I think writing, writing this book, you know, 
I don't know, maybe I was lucky, or I don't know what, what, how it was, but maybe it was my fate. But you know, writing this book, you know, I suppose it, it, it introduced me to the right people, and it, it made me, I don't know, walk the path and get get the right guidance. And can, can I and just? What, I'm just going to reach down. That's why. I, how that's can people get hold of this? The per it's called. Do you know uh, what? If, if you could see this, Sangaji, is it okay if I show? Yeah, it's fine, yeah? It's fine. yeah. It's the purpose of human life. I think it's really nice. It's. Uh, I've got the folder here. Da, da, da. <laughs> Never. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've still yet to, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it published at one point, and then okay, yeah, and yeah, then um, it should be, it'll be out there. That's that's looks it. Yeah. No, that, that's that's amazing actually. Um, definitely gonna read more. But it's Sangaji. It look, looks really amazing. I, I did tell you earlier. We we have run out of time. I can't believe how quickly time goes. This happens every week. But uh, look, thank you both of you for thank coming. You. It's been a pleasure. Thank you to, to, to the show. You know, it's. Uh, you know, it's probably really snowing out there now. It was when I was entering the studio, sunk G. So uh, if you look outside your window, but listen, stay safe, okay? Keep warm, okay? And, you know, uh, we want to see you here next week. That, that, that's the main thing, you know? So uh, yeah. thank you so much for coming. And, you. Uh, you Thanks know, a lot as well. Yeah. You, yeah. Is it, are there any last words you'd, you'd like to say? It's also been there? Uh, no, I think just... Um, just, I think, uh, I would, I would, the last words I would say is that no matter, Baba used to tell us this, they said, um, doesn't matter what happens to you in life, doesn't matter what you lose or how bad things get, never ever lose connection with your Guru. Wow. Because he's the only one who's going to get you out of everything yeah. that comes to you. That's, wow. What can you say, Jodhpur Singh? Yeah, I just want to say, like, <laughs> Like, that we don't forget that we need to work on ourselves, that we shall be happy. Mm -hmm. And if we are happy, we can make others happy, and we can, like, make a world community, a world Sarbat Tabala, we can make wow. happy. What, what else you, you guys want? That's everything I Beautiful. want to say. Yeah. Listen, on that Sangaji, Vaigarji ka khalsa, Vaigarji ka Khalsa, Vaigarji ki Fateh, Satnam, and welcome to another show of Ik Conscious Living on Seat Channel. It's the show where every week we bring inspirational people. And Sangaji, I'm really, really pleased to tell you that we, again we have some amazing inspirational people. Now, you know the, the format, and I laugh every week <laughs> because I say the same thing. But, you know, I think it's always nice if we get a wonderful guest to introduce themselves. And this week's no exception. So, Vaigurji uh, Khalsa. Vaigurji Khalsa, Vaigurji Khalsa. If you tell us who you are, Ji. I'm Jodhbir Singh from Switzerland. Welcome, Jodhbir Singh. Thank you for coming Welcome. on the Conscious Show. And, Vasi Ji. Yeah, my name is Sat Bender Singh Ji. Vaigurji uh, Khalsa. Vaigurji Ji. Um, I'm in, uh, living in North Holt. Uh, basically, uh, I've lived my life, most life, most of my life in Southall, um, and uh, yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gaji, just to tell you, me and Satpinder Singh, we go back a long way. We are being very good friends, and I, I think it's been a few years, hasn't it, it since has. we sort of met each other. So it's really, really nice. And I, yeah. I said, we had a really, like, uh, really nice conversation the other week in the Gurdwara. He was doing some amazing seva. I, I, I'm saying that he doesn't know I'm, you know, I was going to say this, <laughs> and uh, we just got talking. I said, you know, it'd be so nice to have you. On no, the show it's because you, been a pleasure you, to be here. you know there, there's so much we have to catch up, and I thought we're better to catch up than over here, you know, on the show. Sure, no, it's you good know? to be here. But mm -hmm. you know, outside, Sungaji, I mean, if you look outside, I mean, dip, assuming you're in London or even within England as well, it's snowing out there, and you know, it's so nice, you know, to have guests to come through all, you know. All the sorts of weather. You've just come from Oxford, haven't you? You know, yeah, yeah, just now. Yeah. Just um, a quick uh, came in. Yeah, but it's so nice, you know. Um, you know, it, it's broadcasting. It's so nice to bring you down, and you know, and you, have from Switzerland, yes. Yeah, I'm from Switzerland, actually. Yeah. We do know each other, Sangaji. I'm yeah, acting yeah. if I don't. <laughs> we met each other in France. We had such a good time together. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, because the weather is so cold at the moment and everything. It's always nice to have somebody who has. A knowledge within, you know, medicine, but Ayurvedic type medicine. It's, you know, it's the traditional type medicine, and it's so nice, George Beer saying, because when we were in France, you were giving some amazing, sort of simple but really effective sort of remedies of what people can do, 
you know, to help themselves. And that's what the show is all about, really, you know? Yeah. You know, we, could you expand on that at all? Yeah, if you, we can speak about the, the weather right now, which is cold and very dry as well. Yes. So it is very important, like, to keep you healthy in this weather, to keep fine and chardikala happy. Yes. And how to achieve that? That's the main question, like. Yeah. So how we can do that? If we, if we are healthy, we are happy as well. That and makes sense, yeah. how to do it? By eating the right food, tying the right clothes, and that's, that's the most stuff you can do. You know? When you say eat the right food, yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, been the thing, as you may know, one person's perception of right food yeah. could be right for them, right for thinking, them. yeah, but yeah. it may be the wrong food. I mean, could you give, like, an example? I know we're always told, like, eat fresh fruit and yeah, vegetables. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. You, know. you know, for example, you shouldn't eat at that time cold food. Simply, it's outside cold, why you eat cold food? Okay. It's, it's not good for the body. Okay. Because... It's said that there is a fire in the body. Yeah. And this fire, you need to, you know, you need to heat it in this weather. So how to do it? Uh, you shouldn't eat cold, actually. Okay, okay. Cold food, because it makes the fire low. Simply. So this is to do with di the digestion. Digestion. Yeah. If your digestion is proper, you you feel healthy as well. Coming through, of what you do. You know, this is not something where you can say, do you know what, for a week I'll study it. Mm. You know, this, you know, and I know that in regards to when I met George Bissing in um, France, that, you know, we sat down and we really did go over. I mean, yeah, you had books upon books. <laughs> I mean, I was like, wow, this is amazing. You know, Just it, remember yeah. the books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, these books were big books. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean? And it was amazing, actually. And, uh, uh, and also, you have a love of martial arts, so I think we have a lot in common on that aspect, and yeah. we'll talk about that in a moment, actually. Yeah, that's but fine. Talking about, about the PR and getting things through, it's... So then this thing, you know, what, what amazing, uh, what's amazing, Sangaji, is that uh, initially, I mean, so this thing, myself, we used to play a lot of football, and so yeah. I know you have a lot of PR oh, within football, you know. <laughs> yeah. Every Sunday, we used to be out used there, there playing sort of thing. And uh, mm. what's, what's, what's nice is that you know, you have a sport and then you get to know someone in terms of where their real passion is, you know, and, uh, you know, as I say, we all do separate things, but that passion, that PR is there. And we got talking last week. We we're just sit, sit, sitting there talking. And uh, I said, so what have you been doing with yourself? You know, and uh, Sipin Singh was saying, oh, you know, I've been doing this amazing book and if I can just reach through, here I am. It's the purpose of human life. Singji, please tell us more because it just seems amazing, you yeah. know, um, the inspiration behind this. Yeah, um, basically uh, it's, been, uh, it's been quite an honour writing this book and, um, and I find it to be very valuable uh, because it's really a representation of what I've been doing for the last say 15, 16, 17 years. Okay. And everything that I've learnt um, uh, whilst you know, whilst doing this, um, and I've just been compelled to write about it because uh, the knowledge and uh, the experience that I that I gained uh, from from spending um, time uh, with the Sangat, uh, with the saints, and uh, the Godwara, uh, it's just been indescribable. You can't really describe it. I can't really describe it to you in words, you know. Um, but you know, you know, verbally, I can't really, you know. But the only thing, you know, the only so. Everything that's in this book mm -hmm. is not something that, you know, you can say I've created or, or I've written. It's something that just came to me. Wow. Um, and then I had to write everything that came to nice. me. So, yeah. so I put it all down um, and, it, and it turned into a book. Um, but really, um, what have I been doing? It's been, um, I, I used to be um, a more nothing before. I never used to have long hair or, or a beard or anything, um, mm -hmm. since up to the age of about 17, 18. And then I had a kind of like a turning point in my life, um, which basically took me towards um, 
you know, the path of God. Um, you know, I didn't have the best of childhood, so, you know, um, so I had to find answers. And sometimes, um, you know, you go on to the path of life and you, you know, you know, everything's happy, you know, no problems. Then all of a sudden something happens and something hits you so hard mm -hmm. that, that, that something inside you awakens. Okay. And that awakening, this was really an awakening, I'd say. And the awakening was to, it's like an awakening of your spirit. Your spirit awakens and mm -hmm. you start to, you know, you ask yourself questions about life, about what we're here to do, you know, you know what was the purpose of, of human birth, you know, and what, you know, what, how should we be living our lives? You know, all, all of these, these questions all of a sudden started coming to me. Mm -hmm. So, um, so um, I basically was introduced to a, a, a saint, a Sikh saint, when I was at the age of about 17, 18, mm -hmm. uh, because my family didn't know what was wrong with me. They thought he's gone mad or something. You know? okay. And uh, so they thought, okay, let's take him to like a, a Babaji, you know, maybe he can help him. Is this what, because you got, got into Sikhi? Uh, this is from this point onwards, basically, okay, okay. I got into it. Um, I mean, I, I just went to see Babaji, you know, it was the uh, Just Sant Babaji Swan Singh Ji in uh, Clifton or Gurdwara. Uh -huh. uh, if you are healthy, you that can do so much sense, Seva, actually. Simran, and you can help others as well. And another simply thing, like, but just like, eat three times a day warm. It is simple, so, some people have real difficulty to do it. So well, instead of it. having cold cornflakes, <laughs> See, and don't drink cold milk, for example. Yeah, it it really closes everything. It's bad for the body, and take warm milk every day, with okay. lychees, for example. Okay, lychee, you know, cardamom, mm -hmm. or amla fruit from India is a good thing, or pepper even. That's that's proper. Okay, so it's just having really that proper combination. I think what you're also saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, is you eat according to the season, it, it makes a difference. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Another thing, just I tell you, yes. is simply take warm water, okay. like half, half... Something we made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> There's no <laughs> propaganda in it. <laughs> no, drink it like all 30 minutes, warm water. Okay. It's be, Really good for you. I'll join you on that one. Mm. It's not even in the winter. You should do it all the and time. We, and what we did do is we just asked for it slightly warm because it's, um, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, I think it's about minus one outside. See, um, we are live, Sangaji. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, don't drink one hour before the food and one hour after food. That, that obviously helps with the digestion. Exactly. I mean, it, it's funny exactly. because for the last, I think, five, six years, I've been doing exactly that. Uh, and now, interestingly, you tend to do it without thinking. It's like, okay, you know, lunch, one o'clock, do you know about 12, I'll just have some water, mm. you know, and uh, I think it really does make a big difference. Yeah, it does, wow. it really does. That what I tell you is not about, um, I read it somewhere, it's my own experience as well, otherwise I wouldn't tell you, mm. it doesn't make any sense, you know. Yeah. yeah. No, it's good. I mean, what's really nice is that it's that PR, it's that love that's coming.